Hey, what's brappin', my fellow Nitro heads? Now I'm sure any low C8 RTR vehicle owner or any RTR owner, as a matter of fact, that has a kit vehicle based off the RTR vehicle has been pressured to upgrade to the kit diffs versus the RTR diffs. Now why is that? And should you upgrade? Let's find out. Now what we have here is a stock RTR diff out of the, the factory low C8 buggy and truggy RTRs. As well as we have a front diff out of a TLR 8XE, which is the same as the regular X, which is also the same as the 4.0 diff. The only difference is the outdrive is in hollowed out. I'll show you guys in a little bit. So let's check out what we have in this bag and then we'll crack open this diff right here. Cups. This is what I was talking about earlier. It's like it's lightened right here. But with the previous uh, TLR vehicles, this part right here is all hollowed out. So this is pretty light still, but most importantly, it's stronger. The 4.0s and the 3.0s, they would split at the end because they're so hollowed out. Alright, so we have both the RTR and the kit differentials disassembled. Now let's compare the two. Alright, let's start off with the cases. As you can see, they're not even the same. Look how much smaller the RTR diff is compared to the TLR. As well as the RTR is shorter. If you look here, These holes are different sizes. Well, why is that? It's because the output shafts are different. This is the RTR. Here's the kit. They are the same length. But the only difference is these shafts are different width. We'll prove that right now. We have the RTR measuring in at 5.1 mils. The kit we have measuring in at say 6 mils. And if you guys are wondering what these little grooves here are for, it's right here. They both have them. Those grooves are for you to put grease in to provide a better seal as well as to lubricate. So, pretty nice. The seals that come out of the diffs are the same. The washers that are inside the diffs are the same other than the holes are different, obviously because of the output shaft sizes. Uh, one thing you can do is you can actually remove the spacer and that's going to give you fear diff action, but I prefer to leave this little washer in because I, I don't like the bottom of the bevel gear riding on the o-ring. So I prefer to leave this in. The I think the uh, diffs work well enough with the washer in there, so I just leave the washer in. But if you want for your diff action, you can take these out. Here we have both the bevel gears. They are the same teeth. They are both 20 tooth. And how I measured this was I grabbed a permanent marker and I marked one of the teeth and I just counted them. So they're, they are the same teeth. However, one is bigger than the other. Kit RTR. And if you have noticed already, the holes are different sizes.
as well as the pins that capture the bevel gears are different sizes as well. Kit RTR. Let's check the length out between the both of them. The kit measures in at 11.71 mils. RTR, whoops. RTR measures in at 9. Point, hang on. RTR measures in at 9.75 millimeters. Let's check out the width. 1.97 from the RTR. 2.47 from the kit. Probably the biggest difference between the two is the spider gears. The RTR comes with two spider gears as well as they have a little baby pin and a little spacer on the end. The kit comes with four spider gears, beefier pins, no spacers, now, what's the difference? Well, the two spider gear setup, it's all right, but you're not gonna, let's just clear the differences first. So, the reason why we have these little spacers here is to take up some of the torsional stress so it doesn't twist as much in the diff. The kit, you don't have to worry about it as much because you have for spider gears, they're going to work together, and they're not going to—they're not going to turn as much. So, what's the kind of performance difference? Well, the four gears are going to be more efficient. You're going to be able to put more power to the ground compared to the two to the to the two spider gear setup. You're going to be wasting power with these. So. If you're bashing, no matter what, this is going to put more power to the ground. The gaskets are obviously different sizes because of the case size difference. Alright, now we're moving to the top of the differentials. We have the ring gears. And they are a lot different to each other. So let me describe the differences. So... This is the upper part of the RTR diff. It's not built into the ring gear. With the kit, it is. It's all one piece. Is there a performance difference? Yes, technically there is. So the output shaft on the RTR has to go through this little plastic piece and it's stiff, it's sticky, it doesn't spin as free, you're not getting as free diff action. Although, it does seal better. The kit slides right in, look how, look how free and smooth that is. Big difference. Now the ring gears themselves, what's different? Well, to start off with, the RTR is stamped. It's a very soft metal compared to the kit. It is machined. It can take a lot more abuse. If you look closely, well, let's see. The RTR, the teeth are longer but they're not very deep. The kit, they are shorter, but look how much longer they are. And the gear ratio is difference between the two gears. The RTR is 42 and the TLR is 49. So different gear ratio, different material, better. Last part is 
the pinion gears. They are a lot different. The shaft themselves are the same length and width, but the gears themselves are different because the amount of teeth is different. The TLR has 13 teeth. The RTR has 12 teeth. But they seem to be they seem to be made the same way. But different gear ratio. Again, how I measure the teeth is I grab a permanent marker, I mark one of the teeth, and I count them. Oh, and a nice little added touch TLR did is they made the screws different sizes. The TLRs are a lot bigger and they take a bigger hex so they won't strip as easy. Just a nice little added touch TLR made to the kit diffs. Is there a weight difference between the two diffs? Let's find out. Here is RTR, 74 grams. Now for the kit, 80. Yes, it's heavier, but it's to be expected. Got a lot more goodies in here. So there we have it. We know the differences between the TLR diff and the low C RTR diffs. Yes, the TLR is better. Is it needed? My opinion? No. But you guys tell me, what do you guys think? The TLR does a better job at putting power to the ground. But for the average every guy, everyday guy, just stick with these, man. Just save yourself some money. They will hold up to bigger more powerful engines. I don't know who started that rumor of they won't hold up. They do hold up just fine. I've put bigger engines in my Losi. Powerful engines. These hold up. The only problem I've found with the rear diff is since the ring and pinions are, the ring gear at least, is softer than the TLR, it seemed to, to strip out a little bit, so I did the aluminum TLR diff inserts. And that fixed it completely. No more issues. So for the average everyday guy, these will hold up just fine. But if you want to step up your game a little bit, and you want to spend the money, here you go.